This was one of the best dance experimental films I've ever seen in my life. Ever. It was so beautiful in its texture, in the editing, in the cutaways for the the rhythm of the of the music itself, but also the rhythm of the movement and yeah, it just I loved it. I absolutely loved it. You don't want to blink. It's entrancing. No, you really don't. You absolutely don't. And and their eyes, both those dancers' eyes are so mesmerizing and they just draw you in. There didn't seem to be anything gimmicky about it either. There was something really <laughs> pure about it and you know even though at the end it goes completely in a different direction it felt fitting to me that they were face to face and that they were finding connection for being such a striking visual metaphor it doesn't beat you over the head with its themes it just lets itself be what it is yeah and it also just has so many different layers of themes that it it really marries together very beautifully so awesome. you can just let it be whatever it is to you and let it speak to whatever part of you is awakened by it. And, and I think it's one of those pieces that has a little bit of something for everybody. I really appreciated it. I have to credit the makeup artists on this piece because they got that paint everywhere. Like, even in their ears. Yeah. Like, there's a couple of shots where you're like, it's, it's everywhere. What's very interesting for me is that I was immediately captivated by the story. And for me, I initially, uh, well, actually, that's what I thought, was that this was a story about the complexity of being someone who's biracial. I'm not sure if that's what the story is about. But from beginning to end, that's exactly what I thought it was about. And I loved it. I loved it very much. Well, when I was watching it, I thought the lady was black. And I thought the guy was black too, but we couldn't tell because they were so covered up. And like I also like really enjoyed the play, you know, like it was perfect. Like when they were standing like exactly facing each other or like putting one body on top of the other, that was amazing. And then when they put the the different colored paints, I thought they're gonna end up like one was gonna the white person who was in white was gonna be black and the one who was black is white. So at the at the end you're kinda of surprised, like, oh, they're not what I, it wasn't like what I expected. So I thought it was a great message that, you know, we make assumptions about people, who they are, where they come from. And like the ending to me was a surprise, so, like don't make judgments because you don't really know. What I loved was the curiosity. I see that hand over there. The curiosity. They dip their fingers in the other color because they're curious. And like they almost act other, like out of this world, right? Which I love. The photography was unbelievably good. They, uh, and how they actually constructed it is, is you know, something to be uh, wondered about, really, because the finish product is so good. Uh, to the <coughs> photographer and director of the lighting for the character that is in black paint. Because that lighting, it is hard to light yeah, something I, so saturated. When I saw the black, I was like, I want to know who did it and how they did it, and they must have been reflecting light from everywhere because it's almost impossible to get that. But um, even deeper than that, I, I, I found that um, it was a, a movie about not giving labels. Because we're all, I'll say, is that person black? Because we're taught to put labels in our head when you automatically see a person and, and taking that away, when at the ending it said gray, it was like, oh, that, that was refreshing. Yeah, just to, to add to the whole theme, black and white, you get so much of it during the, the, the entire film, which isn't very long, but it doesn't take long for eyes to get used to it. As soon as they go back to real color, you realize there's no black or white. It's just, it's just the color of what whatever our skin color is, you know, browns and whatever it is, but it's amazing to see that at the end. That's an incredible note you made. That they, they like really nobody is like is like white like a bleached piece of paper or, or black like soil or like nobody really is. Everyone is a beautiful blend and they do a fantastic job of showcasing that. It's really a wonderfully well put together piece and props and kudos to the production design for and the lighting and the production totally because it is so hard to light something so deeply saturated and yet we got the movement.